Today, I'm going to use a battery to etch a piece of metal, and it comes out pretty well. So, let's get started. So, I've just finished drawing this. It's got a gear in the middle, and each one of the cogs has an arrow coming out of it to create a chaos star, which is eight arrows going all different directions to represent all possibilities. Etching this into metal, I'm going to use a couple of batteries, some nail polish, and I think I'm going to use vinegar. So I'm going to go ahead and start covering this thing with some nail polish. Well, I've got it totally covered and a little bit out past the edges. I don't think I'll need to mask off any further, but if you have to mask off a large area, you can use electrical tape and then put the nail polish up to it. And I have this little wooden stylus I made from a dowel rod and it's kind of blunt that way it scrapes off more of the nail polish to clear out the metal so I can have a good surface for the electric to flow through so I'm gonna go ahead and trace it all out what I want to keep and etch into it with the stylus All right, well, I've got it all scratched off how I want it to be on there. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to let the nail polish fully dry. There were some spots that I could tell were about dry while I was doing it. It's a pretty large design. Alright, the nail polish is all dry, and I have my battery set up. I've got the positive side clipped onto the metal. I've got the negative side clipped onto this piece of paper towel. I'm going to dip it in a vinegar and salt solution and get started. And when you do this, you want to make sure your clip is wet. It has to be touching the wet part of the towel. Sounds as if it's bubbling, which is to me a good sign. You probably can't see it, but it's working really well. It's about it's been about ten minutes. This star took about five minutes, and I'm doing the gear now. And every so often, I'll dip it back in the vinegar salt solution. And uh, you can hear it working. It's foaming right there. This arrow is finished, and it looks it looks really good. And I can see a difference between this arrow and that arrow. So I'm going to keep going. And uh, it'll be a little while for such a large, for such a large design. Alright, there's a couple different ways you can do it. And by a couple, I literally mean two. You can either hold it on it, or you tap. And I've been playing with both dif different ways. And I've noticed that if you tap it, it goes way quicker. Well, so far I've got from here all the way to here done. I've got this cog on the gear done. This arrow still needs to be done. And I read somewhere that if you have a load between your dabber and the battery, such as a light or a little fan, this one's from an old computer, 
that it helps a lot. All right, so a quick little update. My batteries kind of died on me. They're old. And uh, I've got the fan going, and I've just connected to an 18-volt battery. And uh, that 18-volt that battery works a lot better than the two 9-volt batteries together did. If you have access to one of these batteries or similar, use that. I'm probably going to make something that just attaches to the battery. Right now I just have the leads electrical taped onto the battery to get the power. And uh, I'm pretty much done with the gear and the arrows there. So I'm going to take this off. Set it aside. I'm going to wipe all the vinegar off. And you can tell that those lines are on there. There, I've got everything disconnected from it. And now, I've got some acetone right here. I just need to open up. Alright, I'm gonna use this acetone to take off the nail polish. Moment of truth. Might be able to see that there's a few spots where the nail polish was a little thin looking and uh, I've etched into some parts of the metal I didn't particularly want to but I really don't mind this it's looking really nice Alright, there's all the nail polish cleaned off, and uh, you can see that this one, it's hard to tell, but it did etch into it, but I'm going to have to touch that up. But this looks pretty good. I like it. Well, here it is. Turned out really well. My uh, Chaos Gear, which as you see is my new channel icon and uh if you enjoyed this video click here to subscribe and check out some of my other videos i appreciate it and i'll see you next time